Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and uh, this is a kind of a Q&A type thing. I've gotten a lot of emails and i got a lot of YouTube messages from people who are having trouble jailbreaking their iPhones with the latest Quick Pwn and the latest, uh, the latest Pwnish tool. And uh, these people, some of them have been on Mac, some on Windows, but what I want to talk about now is kind of a warning that if you have updated your Mac to Mac OS 10 10.56, there's a, a glaring issue with MacBooks and jailbreaking. Uh, this was featured on Gizmodo.com today as well as other sites. Lifehacker had it, I believe Tua had it. Um, and it is, it is a hot topic. Um, one of the problems that happens when you update to 10.5.6, I'm not going to get into the technical mumbo jumbo, but Apple essentially made some changes to some key components of Mac OS X which kind of hinder the ability to go into DFU mode. If you recall, DFU mode is required in order to, uh, to, to perform the first stage of jailbreak. And you remember me holding down the buttons and holding down for 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds. Seems to be the hardest part of jailbreaking. The problems people are having is that their MacBooks are freezing. Uh, both, uh, I'm reading that they're they're freezing during the jailbreaking. They're they're not even going into DFU mode. Some are even uh, the MacBooks are freezing completely at the login screen, um, and this is a problem. Now people have done workarounds. They've used USB hubs to get around this and all kinds of things. But this recent problem sounds pretty pretty serious, and some believe it may be related to the QuickTime 7.6. I believe it was. 7.6 update which was recently released. I think it's a combination of those two things, but it's kind of up in the air. The warning is if you have Mac OS 10 10.56, the latest software, and you want to jailbreak right now, I would hold off. I just wouldn't do it on a Mac. I, 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 I mean on a MacBook. This, this seems to be prevalent on MacBooks and I believe MacBook Pros as well. Um, if you got a, a Mac Pro or you got a desktop Mac or iMac or something like that, you should be okay. I'm not completely sure, but just be careful. Things are going wrong for a lot of people out there, and it has to do with this this latest revision, this latest update. Um, so this is just a warning to everyone to to bleed, please take caution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two links. I'm going to put a link to the Gizmodo article so you can peruse the comments. This is an ongoing thing. There hasn't been a definite solution yet, and there's there's also a link to an Apple discussion forums that I'll put in the description. You can check that out. So if, you, if you're thinking about jailbreaking, again, if you're thinking about jailbreaking right now, you have 10.56, don't do it. Uh, just wait, hold off until we can get some more definite information. You can check my channel, you can check other people, I'm sure they're talking about it as well. But just make sure to hold off until we can get a fix, a definite fix for this. Because there are some fixes. Now this page that I'm going to link you to actually has a couple of fixes where you can execute a series of commands to, to fix the underlining USB issues, if you will, with the 10.56 update. Now this may or may not work. It may be a hassle. Like I said, don't even get started. I mean, because you don't want to go through this unless you want to go through it. Um, if you find yourself in the middle of this mess, I don't really have a definite solution except to follow the instructions here. Bunch of commands, see if they work. I don't have this problem myself. I've already jailbroken, but please, if you haven't jailbroken, hold off. If you have Mac OS 10, 10.56 on a MacBook. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv. Heed the warning, y'all. Do not jailbreak if you have these conditions. Take care.